One of the most pressing issues for anglers and water enthusiasts alike is the rapid spread of aquatic invasive species. They are interfering with fishing, recreational opportunities, and the visual appeal of our inland lakes. Boat launches are often where new aquatic invasive species become established, suggesting that boats and trailers are a major source. The simplest and most effective way to prevent their further spread is to clean, drain, and dry your equipment each time you leave the water. It only takes a small fragment of Eurasian water milfoil to reroot in a single zebra mussel to populate a lake. Therefore, it is extremely important that everyone take these precautions seriously. This is not an optional activity. Michigan law prohibits placing a boat, trailer, or equipment in the water with plant material attached, as well as possessing or transporting several live non-native fish and plants. The consequences of not properly cleaning your equipment are severe and long-lasting. Step one, clean. It is important to remove all attached vegetation as well as to feel the surface of the boat for unseen invasive species such as tiny zebra mussels. It's best to have a routine for your inspection, such as starting at the winch post and moving clockwise. Be sure to check your anchor and anchor line, boat propeller, and anywhere immersed in the water as well as the trailer, including the rollers and bunks for hidden plant material on the underside of fenders and the entire length of the axle. A flashlight may be helpful for this step. Also check your fishing equipment for aquatic hitchhikers. Step two, drain. Make sure all of your live wells, motors, bilge pumps, and aerators are completely drained. Removing drain plugs while transporting ensures live wells will be dry at your next location. If you're a live bait user, you must drain water out of your bait buckets on shore and replace the water with clean well water. This can be done by bringing extra water and leaving it in your vehicle. Make sure the water stays cool so the life of your bait is maintained. Step three, dry. After you have cleaned and drained your equipment, it is recommended that you let it dry or rinse it with hot water or a high pressure spray to ensure there's still nothing attached. Do your part, clean, drain, and dry, and keep Michigan Inland Lakes free of aquatic invasive species. It's up to you to protect your resource.